Hi everybody and welcome to the first episode of a new series, Industries of Titan. This game is in early access, so who knows, maybe we'll crash, maybe we don't. I'm gonna start it off and I'll try to explain things as I go along as best as I can. I am in no way an expert in this game, I've, we have maybe like 30 hours on it so far. So uh, please let me know in the comments below what can be done better, things like that. I will totally try and adapt. Alright, uh, we are just gonna go straight away and landfallers. One of the best intros in, 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 in these games, I think. Uh, so always excited to start a new game. Protom Limited. Alright, we'll go with that. Protom. Hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Breaking contract for casting profits, contacting shareholders, deregulating industries, hoarding resources. <laughs> Hiring contractors and press any key to continue. Yeah, I don't know. I love it. It's one of the best 10 second intros. All right, our employees are coming. We start with eight employees. So just going to start surveying building. Kind of that's our the first way that we can get resources is by salvaging them from buildings. And then we can mine. Um, there are some finite resource patches here. And I don't know if we can see. We don't have visibility to any infinite resource node at this point. But that is okay. Uh, good, we have a bunch of crevices around, so that will be very good for Zethane. Zethane is the gas that we need to generate fuel. Uh, let's look where our uh, command area it stretches from. Just gonna scan pretty much all of them. And uh, so the first tiles here, we already have them, so we don't need to claim them. So just let's salvage, salvage. Um, salvage, salvage, uh, let's extract. Uh, let's build some storage because if we don't have, we only have very, very little storage right now. And let's speed things up, I guess. So another resource we have is influence, which sort of generates on its own, but also building things and doing stuff will uh, will earn us some some influence. There's a bunch of waster and influence, but we needed to uh, to acquire tiles to be able to build on them, to be able to do stuff on them. So uh, uh, ruins. There's fifteen. There's two kinds of resources right now uh, for building, and that's minerals and isotopes. Minerals are way more abundant, and uh, isotopes typically used in smaller quantities and for upgrades. So, did we run out of space yet? No, but we have we have some more minerals over here. So we can build some more storage containers. Complete. 
And let's build some <clears throat> waste receptacles. Two, three, four. We'll maybe fill this with waste receptacles and then the rest of it. Um, some more storage containers. All right, so now we're just uh, kind of claiming a little bit of land that we need. And um, it's kind of a little bit at a time expanding here. Um, let's take a look. How are we gonna build this? Mm -hmm. So I think I'm gonna have one, two, three, four is buildings, and then I'll have the uh, the first road around that. So that would kind of be the plan. And the first four buildings that I like to have are transport hub, um, storage, and um, the energy pylon. So transport hub we need credits for, that's more like knowledge on lots of things. And the way for us to earn credits is by getting, right now the only way to earn credits is by getting citizens aboard which we don't have place for yet so we're gonna build a factory for the citizens um since here i'm gonna have crevices and stuff i think i want to build the factory way over here so let's get that extract and let's extract this side as well so Claim. Let's extract the artifacts from this building. Extraction complete. Mm -hmm. Let's get the minerals and the wastes. So that's full, and let's build some more wastes. Gonna generate a lot of waste, so let's have that. Uh, fine, let's just get the, uh, the, the artifacts there. And we said we wanted to build the factory. The factory is just a building that we can build stuff in. It's not as specialized in any way. It's kind of like the headquarters here with floors and we can build anything in it. Most of these things, they have a building equivalent, which probably requires... Um, oh, actually not always requires anybody, but a lot of the stuff like residential, where we can ha house people, have, uh, have an equivalent. So we'll build a factory and sort of house people there for now. And that's for us to be able to earn credits. And we do want to start the transport hub. Which also means that we need to start the energy pylon. And we'll have the storage over here. But we need... We don't have credits right now. And the only way to get credits is to get people. So. Our next step, uh, let's just upgrade to have two, because we need that. I'm gonna have a power Let's see, lots of minerals, we need resources now. So let's get them, this is not bad. I mean, ideally we'd have no waste. This is, for example, terrible, and we would just get the artifacts from here. This is also terrible. It's a good one, the ratio of, of uh, resources to waste. But we need 20. We only have four right now. So as long as they're salvaging,
And yeah, we need to generate electricity, which we will inside the uh, headquarters over here. Which we'll need to upgrade, so we need eight more isotopes. Well, it's kind of a... This is decent one. Yeah, this is, a, this is a good one, but 20. We have to wait a little bit. And same thing, this is also not bad, so... This is also, this is very good. But um, 30, we'd have to wait. Let's see. All right, we can start getting some more. We have eight idle. I probably should not have uh, built the transport here and the energy so fast. But uh, that's okay. A bit of a slow start. So one and two. We do need to upgrade this all the way up. And we need to have electricity here. That's kind of the plan. So we do need to upgrade this first. Needs eight uh, isotopes. So V, uh, it's one of the best shortcuts to learn early in game. It's to survey everything around you, and obviously some more quality of, of life around that. They they have a lot of uh, things that they're discussing, like clusters of buildings you can survey and salvage together, and so on. I don't like the prospects of what's around us here. So we do need to upgrade the headquarters, so let's get started on that. Uh, okay, 33 and 22, that's a good one. And let's upgrade the energy pylon. We need to upgrade it twice. We have a decent amount of of uh, minerals. Thirty. This would be a good one to to get our hands on next. Or this seventeen, twelve, and seventy-two and thirteen. Yeah. Both of these are very good. So now that we have our second floor. We can call our first floor storage. And we can call our second floor power. And let's build some power regenerator things. Uh, we need a few fabs. Uh, let's see first the generators. So each generator, the big ones, can generate nine electricity but they require three fuel so we can have two of them and we can have so that's six fuel that we need and in terms of fuel fab then each of these is two i don't think we can fit these together so let's Move this up. Yeah, I think that's better. Then we can have a few. One like this, and that's five, and another fuel fab 
over here. We are gonna need a relay. So that. And we are gonna need an industrial outlet. And that gets the electricity to the other floors and to the outside, which will connect to the pylon in the outside. So we have our relay, we have our industrial outlet, and we need some storage for all of that. So let's... Um... Right now, okay, it's not ideal for storage purposes. Battery. It needed to be in the grid, so we, really that's kind of the only one. Without me building another relay. So for now, I'm just gonna have fuel tanks. And which one I should be able to upgrade. And now we have electricity on here, which is a level two. And we can get building on habitats. And that's one, and two. And monetization, that's kind of right now the most important. It would be almost. But uh, yeah, let's get some more resources. We have. Where are those big ones? And. That other. Big building over here. Can I survey this one? So, in normal mode, we're not really playing against time. Not much anyway. It's more of when you reach a certain point. I don't know exactly how they calculate it. But you have enough upgrades. When you have enough things going on, you kind of get the first warning for the first attack. Which at this point, you either need to have built you know, a uh, turret or a shipyard. We definitely have a good spot for a shipyard. You can just get these two. All right, salvage away, salvage away. So yeah, so you can see that energy pylon covers all the way to the factory, that's the maximum it can upgrade to. And we'll have the road here, so we'll have the mine over on this side, because we'll have the road kind of covering this way. Yeah, just usually not action when there's idle, but I keep looking here to see if there are any idle people not moving things around. Because we didn't want resources to build, so we do want two more monetization stations. Uh, let me see how much is the big relay. Uh, it kind of gets all of them. I have the industrial outlet here that also gets that and then we can have uh, so we have room for six people so we need six monetization stations basically so that's two more and it's as much as I want to say that that's mm -hmm.
think that's... That will work. One. And two. You can have some batteries. And we do need people, so let's now we can get them and we spend uh, yeah, we spend influence to, to get people. Doop de doo. Okay. So now we have people. Five out of six that we can support. That's great. And now we start seeing our credits increase. Because people love to watch ads and that's what these are doing. Okay, now uh, we need still how much? Okay, there's a lot of minerals here. There's quite a lot of minerals over here that people are getting. And we need to start getting, we get some roads going. But first, um, mm -hmm. Actually, let's salvage. Because the resources would already be on the ground and we want to build on it. And we want to build a mine. We're doing good on storage right now, so we don't need... need that, but we need a mine. Try to get some... And we need to get these two so we can start building our uh, our road. That's kind of that. And we're gonna have a mine on this side to to clear these patches and a mine on this side to clear these patches and maybe I guess then a mine on this side to clear these patches or then we can move I'm not sure quite yet And uh, so now that we have people working, um, fortunately, that we need to build a thing for it. Uh, but we can convert people, and we can get more employees. That's how. It works. You know, the capacity of my employees is up by two. For this one, I need a small relay to make that work. Um, yeah, I think that's better. Then I can have some batteries. And since nobody's coming from this side, there we go. And we use artifacts to convert the people. Because we need more workers. We have some more here so we can get storage. So we won't have to worry about storage for a little bit of time. And the next floor will kind of build the same thing. I don't know, I haven't really thought of a better design. So, um, yeah. Uh, Alright, we need more people, so if we get three, that would be good. If we don't have three... How are we doing on electricity? Plus three. Not great, we need... Now we need to um, 
pump up our power and that is get a turbine and an energy plant but just because we are gonna probably get attacked at any point any moment I should just buy the shipyard and make sure that I can build it let's get two more people and uh, be nice I can prioritize that. And that, as you can see, all of this is connected. Transport network. Get that going from the start. Then we can upgrade the storage here as we go, but for now we're, we're good. Right, let's get that. There's a bunch of stuff salvaged over here. Mm. All right, we are gonna try and expand. I mean, it really doesn't matter at this point. We can just go anywhere. There's a lot of clearing. There's a lot of clearing everywhere. So <laughs> this yellow area here is where we potentially have control. And you now know the blue areas where we can actually build stuff. Now in order to increase that, we actually need to build a command center. And I think I should build a command center here. It would be facing this way. But uh, yeah, I need to get the mine. I need to get rid of the, these. Well, I don't necessarily actually need a mine. Uh, let's get some more people. Yeah, these are some <clears throat> not too bad the buildings here and let's get that and we do need the fuel turbine and we do need oops three 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 i saw a three so let's get that fill our thing up uh, we do absolutely need electricity now because we are short on electricity. We won't be able to actually get things done. And we do need a, a power plant. So we need to wait for some credits. Get those people, new people working. Plus six. That's how much we're earning. You can't always just generate. I mean, you can maybe. If I upgrade, I can have a power. Chip, but I don't want the, th the thing is pollution, and then they start dying, and then you have to get more people, and these people start dying. So ideally, I at some point want to have something to purify the air, or for anybody living here, and sort of have power plants near the crevices. Because the, these generate a lot. Um, yeah, they generate a lot of uh, Z thing, which we need. So power, almost fuel turbine. So we need six hundred for the fuel, and then seven hundred for energy. So we'll throw in fuel over here. And I um, guess we can have an energy plant over here. 
I usually double have a double energy plant. So uh, an early mechanic that was there is burrowing the city, which now kind of costs quite a lot based on the number of buildings you have, costs a lot of credits. But when you connect buildings, they become more efficient, but you cannot burrow them. So, you know, choices, choices. I personally choose not to be a pussy and borrow my uh, my buildings. So we'll need to build this. Uh, yeah, I mean, just I think we have enough. We also need credits to buy the ship's hulls, so we might as well get started on it. I'm just thinking if here is the right... If we get this, we we'll get the artifacts from this one too then the minerals and then I can have it here actually I think that's better almost have 700 over here okay we bought them and then Boom. Okay, this is good. Uh, now power, we can get the energy plant. And let's get that over here. We'll have the road down on this side. And we'll probably have one on here. But for now, I think we're going to need a mine to start clearing all of this. Alright, we need some more minerals. I mean, anytime now. Anytime. Gotta get that warning. I'm gonna shut, have to shut this one off. So, uh, it fits like the battery drain right now. We have enough. Uh, isotopes to get the energy and upgrade it so we, we were gonna connect them so we only use one employee there all right connect them there we go hello Bahar ah a new founder did you really think little startup would escape our notice we know you're taking money from the council and we know exactly where your loyalties lie don't worry, we're only going to destroy your city, dismantle your corporation, and take you as a prisoner. It won't be painful, at least no more than the pain you've inflicted on your employees. My employees are fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, so I've met you, Bahar. You've met Bahar Koroba founder. They are the leader of one of many disparate and desperate groups called themselves the Rebels. The Council will not waste resources on this, but you have plenty to spare, I am sure. Deal with Bahar founder or risk my displeasure. Alrighty, right. So we get we need to get an employee over here. And we need to build a ship. Like immediately. Uh we have six hundred. I think we can get a level two ship. Yes. Okay, we can get a level two ship. Kinda of looks like this. Um, Max Crew. Alright, let's get this one. 
All right, let's have him build it. It takes 30. Salvage over here. We do need to build some more habitats. We'll get more people and more credits. I know, would I try? something like this. So that's eight. I'm absolutely just thinking on of this on the spot. So sorry. So we need eight. So we have one and two, three, four, five, six. Can't really get eight. Complete. Two, three. Device complete. Prioritize salvaging this one. We need a lot of minerals. Now you can potentially get some trade some influence, but we don't have many that many influence for some materials from the council. But since we don't have that much influence right now, we will not be doing that. So now that we have a ship, I actually need to build the ship. So it's just slow time down a little bit. We can get up to three weapons. All right, we don't need to slow time down because we don't have resources to build anything on the ship. This is a good one. All right, so we absolutely need an engine that's required. We need some generators, but let's see how much we're going to need electricity first. So, automated light shield takes three. We For the first one, I think two small lasers is more than enough, so we get those. So it's one, and that's two. And that takes two energy. We'll have a small light shield. And we'll have a medical pod. Let's have that. Oh, no, one we'll actually fit here, but we'll fit in here. And we'll have six people, so we get two life supports. All right, so let's calculate that. So that's a minus two energy, minus three, minus six, and minus eight. So one large generator would do if we can. Yeah, one large generator would do, and it needs three, so we'll have two fuel fabs. That's one, and that's one over here. 
And now for the energy relays. We'll have one like this. We'll have one on this side and one like this. And then we'll need crew pods. We'll need six crew pods. One. And I don't have any more material to get six crew pods. So we absolutely need that really, really quick, really quick. We've got 10 minutes left. So that's 3.3 minutes because we're 3 XP. How many moving resources? We need somebody dedicated. The, the tasks page is actually really sweet. They've reworked it. Um, these are like folders, subtasks within folders that you can reorder and have some. Yeah. So we need at least one just moving resources around because we need that. Uh, we need the pods. Three, four, five. And the six. <laughs> Says, what's going on? What's going on? Don't worry, just keep working it. Just keep working the generator, you'll be fine. There we go. Alright, we're gonna have our ship. That's not gonna be a problem. And we are gonna have... Our mine as well. And let's get a castle monument so we can also increase that generation. All right, crew arriving, crew arriving. One, two, three. I mean, three people, that's more than enough. We can launch our ship. There we go. And now we've lost six employees, obviously, so we need to get them back. So let's convert. Convert. Well, we didn't really lose them, but they are in the ship. And they have their own crew pods, so. That's just something to keep an eye on. And Bahar should be here in a minute. And we'll have our first fight. Do -do 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 -do. All right, convert, convert. Where would they come from? Where will they come from? Nine seconds. All right, here we go. There, there they are. And we can go and let's see auto target their fuel tanks. Let's auto target their uh, fuel fab. It's doing their health. We've got a lot more HP. And you, what you can target is their laser. How about 
target the battery. Alright, target the engine. I mean, we can let them do their own thing, but... Yeah, the most important thing, I don't want them to get destroyed above my stuff. There we are. Is she gonna be mad? Or are they gonna be mad? I underestimated you, or should I say I underestimated how much weaponry the Council's money could buy? Just one ship with two small lasers. I'm going to enjoy stamping you into the ground next time. And I've got it two minutes before you you, you were here, so... We are under strict instructions from the Council to ignore Bahars, and I quote perverse ramblings. The Council will be pleased that you've bested them this time. Let's make sure we do the same next time, too. Alright. We are starting to have lots of garbage. You are going to go back to get repaired. Let's get some more people. And uh, we've maxed out our employees. We should almost definitely build our second floor of uh, people. So let's that's eight. Um, So maybe? But I don't know. That's definitely not it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Wish I can have seven, eight. I think it's just have seven. There's probably a way that you can have eight. So we need an industrial outlet. And we'll build a, an office for them. How about that? All right, uh, all of these are running. We still have a good amount of electricity. Let's get some more people. And go and uh, repair you. The jumping Hyperion. All right. Now, let's get serious. We'll have two mines, one on each side. We do need to upgrade you, so let's do that before you get full. Alright, and is the ship okay now? Uh, it's a great music.
I missed the six. Start taking this, and same for you. Start taking that. I'm gonna get him one at a time. And while we're at it, I should just upgrade you all the way. And let's have a road on this side. Do you want to have a smokestack to start burning? I mean, I think maybe you have a turret over here. We need to have our um, also, if we actually upgrade this. Hmm. Don't have a lot of energy stored. But I think we do need to upgrade. All right, Council Monument. Here it's fine. Uh, we can get one more person. I'm getting about yeah, 13. All of them are working. This is locked. Removing the waste. If you could just move it to the smokestack, that would be wonderful. And we can get to, uh, yeah, let's buy another truck. And buy another truck once that truck is built. There we go. We've got, we've got just enough fuel, or more than enough fuel. Let's get those minerals. gonna keep on mining and we probably should actually go north as well so we'll have one road north one road south calling this this way north And we're either going to need another ship or a turret. Oh, right now our energy is just... Let's prioritize that. It's great. We want to empty those and extend maybe this way and we can also extend like this. But we do need energy depot to start actually storing a decent amount of energy. Yeah, let's store that energy first, and then we'll upgrade the headquarters. Um...
Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, here is fine for now. Let's have one over here. Yeah, and I think this one has to be for the... I have to keep this one for... for a defense turret. Which... Why not build and make everybody feel a little bit safer? Yeah, really... Would, gonna have a bunch of turrets anyway. But they're expensive. They made them super expensive to sort of... Make you kind of want to go down the ship path. and minimize the amount of turrets. All right, we've got 12 people working. And we're gonna need a conversion center to start getting people converted uh, actually and we can upgrade this for now have some conversions over there prioritize this don't prioritize the Getting any wastes? Let's prioritize this one too and let them get. Alright, here we have our our factory. Let's go to the third floor and have a bunch of conversion. One, two, three, four, and five. I mean, that gets to all of them like this. And we'll have the industrial outlet. can have some more conversion capsules. So you can have... Hmm. That last one. And we'll have a tiny relay over here. And that should give us a pretty decent amount. And now this is also grown. So let's look at um, command, 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 command area. Drain, uh, you gotta be off, and we should absolutely upgrade you. I wonder why this is still not. I don't know if this road has bugged here. I'll. <coughs> oh, there it is. Nope. I'll destroy it and. So it moves along. I think that'll be.
There we go. Yeah, we just uh, bugged out. Oh, next attack. Here we go. 26 minutes. I see you didn't heed my last warning, so I'll show you how just how serious I am. Surrender now and I might show you mercy. Proceed to fight and I'll destroy you. When will they grow tired of this nonsense? Deal with them swiftly, Founder. Our patience for them is growing thin. Alright. Next target. Can get this. Do it. I probably should actually take this one first so I can open up the side and then I'll move uh, the mine here. And that's that. Alright, so we have we have our turret. We have room for a lot more Lots more people. So let's get a few. Let's go to our conversion. And then let's get more people. We have 3.2 over here. Got some decent amount of uh, and let's build them an air purifier actually close by. Twenty minutes. Um, I mean, maybe you should be building another ship. How are we doing on wastes? Oh, doesn't get energy from here. Yeah, we need uh, some sort of, yeah, energy. That's kind of as far as I can build right now without building a command center. So we'll just have have one built over here. Uh, we need more electricity. We do have much fuel 16 so we probably need to upgrade our fuel which we don't have a lot of so let's get a fuel silo your fuel silo is fine And we can definitely get some more. Let's get like five employees. Yes, oh no, this is over here. This is almost done. 
got a bunch of people, 24. Not sure if we can build. Let's get one of the level three ships. Not sure if we can actually build it in time. This is neat. Let's try this one. All right, let's have him build it. Yeah, we probably won't actually get to this one, but um, I would still like to build. Yeah, there. that's good. And we'll have this going on all the way the road here and we need another power plant and we need to upgrade the fuel turbine we have a little bit of fuel but probably not enough and we're definitely short on oh we have some isotopes over here so we can get those isotopes um, this is a... Let's get the two artifacts from here. One isotope, one artifact. I'll get the artifact. Let's get the resources. Alright, draining power. Let's go fuel turbine. Here we go. Get some more fuel. And... gonna stop, not stop it, but slow it down. Um, power. So I think we need more power. We can have them. Two over here. And this can go all the way, but we'll have a power plant over here. We need a dedicated person to move isotopes. Alright, barely. But we would have enough fuel uh, for both. Isotopes. Ah, this one is good. All right, that's it for buildings. All right, call to arms. So that uh, people will, you know, will go to and turn on the defense. This is a, one of the best quality of life updates that they made. All right, probably gonna have two ships to fight. Too bad it's gonna come down on my on my buildings. But it's gonna go fast because it's just getting hammered from everywhere. But we need repairs. So many repairs. 
Alright, second wave. Averted. Cancel alarm. Cancel alarm will turn them off and will free up the worker from needing to be there. Alright, you're still working, everything's still working. Let's get some more power while we're at it. We'll connect those two as usual. Let's upgrade you. And we do need the command center. So why not here? And for command, we need a little bit yeah, this won't just won't reach so we do need to get an energy pylon unfortunately I can't claim this that's just out of my reach out of my reach And that is, yeah, also out of my reach. I don't want to build the road here, so it would be a bummer. But here is fine. You can build it and upgrade it twice. It'll, uh, it'll cover it, so that's not a problem. And then we can keep on getting those there here. We probably should have another, another a pylon here, or we'll yeah, we'll probably have a pylon. All right, repair all. Building complete. Salvage complete. And connect. And upgrade. Uh, are you hurt in any way, shape, or form? Yes. Oh, I think there's a shipyard ship here that we gotta build. All right. Uh, let's just slow th this down a little bit. All right. How about? How about? You tell me in the comments how I should probably optimize the ship. Uh, I'll leave it here for now and oh yeah let me know in the comments if you i mean how, how you like this game uh if you've played it if you would like to play it i'm just i think there's a lot of potential here so let me know and i will see you in the next episode thank you very much and bye-bye